University of Waterloo's robotics team has been hard at work for the last few months on a brand new rover. Starting last May, we've been steadily recruiting new members and have grown to a record size of 35 people. And leveraging the size of our team, we've concurrently started work on every aspect of the rover. A brand new rover drivetrain was designed, this time with a rugged build having plenty of interior space to accommodate systems. Two 24 volt motors giving a max speed of 2 meters per second provide plenty of torque for steep inclines. The rocker suspension allows the rover to drive over large obstacles, and with a differential bar design, backlash on the chassis is completely eliminated. We created an arm with 5 plus 1 degrees of freedom to tackle all object manipulation challenges. The speed in each joint was designed for with precision in mind. We use a worm gear on each joint to handle the static load, which drastically saves power and reduces wear and tear on our motors. A compact differential on the wrist allows for roll and pitch in one system. Lastly, the software team is already working hard to develop inverse kinematic algorithms for absolute position control. When designing a constant battery to tailor it to our power and capacity needs, design with the safety in mind, the BMS constantly measures pressure, temperature, and current, and contains multiple safety relays. The final product will be a standalone, extendable battery that can be ported to any future robots. Using thermal calculations, we're reducing the gauge of every cable to reduce weight and cost. We take electrical safety very seriously. The power distribution system has a network of branches and relays. Just like the chassis, the wiring is also modular, allowing us to interchange components in minutes. Two isolated power sources on the rover allow the comp to always stay live, even when the actuators are cut off for safety and decreasing power consumption. Our actuators will be fitted with our own custom controller boards. This saves space, power, and enables us to use the robust CAN communication protocol. Electrically, there are various boards, but they're based on a common architecture to ensure the software team can use the same code for each. The software team has been placing a large emphasis on reliability of communication between devices. An ultra-high gain antenna over the 2.4 GHz frequency band enables comms across a 1 km range and CAN communication between devices provides us with a fault-tolerant network robust against EMI. We have prototyped a software provision for ensuring the safe operation of all services executing on the Mars rover. This component operates based on a principle very similar to a watchdog timer. A process that is executing normally checks in with the service at regular intervals. If those signals stop being received, it is assumed that a failure has occurred and the specific process is restarted. Our GUI for the Mars rover this year is made using the React library with ROS LibJS to fully integrate with a ROS backend. In addition to monitoring critical systems of the rover, video streams and live position are also available to the operator for extensive system visibility. To make the control of a six degree freedom system more intuitive for an engineering student operator, the control scheme was designed to resemble video game controls, something the user would be familiar with. Along with calibrations to balance speed and safety, the button and joystick layout feels natural for the real movement of the arm. For the new Autonomy Challenge, we are adding a powerful LiDAR which enables us to detect and avoid obstacles as we navigate. The autonomy portion of the rover is currently being tested in a custom simulation. Our localization system fuses vehicle odometry, IMU, and GPS using the extended common filter to provide an accurate estimate of our rover's position. Object detection with LiDAR and GPS waypoints enable our rover to navigate effectively. For the tennis ball challenge, we'll be using a color isolation algorithm paired with a shape detection algorithm to determine the distance and direction of the tennis ball from the robot. We have been researching Mars science for several months and have learned much about Martian stratigraphy. We are prototyping numerous in lab tests, such as detecting for life critical elements like nitrogen and phosphorus. Our rover will have the capacity to measure humidity, subsurface temperature, and ambient UV readings across multiple samples. We have been extensively testing and characterizing all of our sensors, both in isolation and in our system. With the hardware recently completed, the sensor team is starting to fine-tune the readouts to ensure that we have sufficiently accurate information. Working hand-in-hand -hand with the science team, we've created a sample extractor using an auger, which is capable of measuring subsurface temperatures. At all times, the soil samples are stored in sealed capsules, which are embedded with sensors for onboard analysis. The unique co-op program at Waterloo means that every member on the team has practical, industry experience in multiple disciplines, and we've been leveraging this expertise. With most of our team consisting of new and junior members, we're only going to get stronger. Our robot will be modular, it will be safe, it has redundancy built in, and we are ready for URC 2017. See you in the new